don't get paid if you sleep in, man. You don't know where I come from. You don't know what I've been through. Realize I don't say I sent you. You getting mad? I'm sitting back. I'm fucked up. I'm getting trash. Gotta go watch two gold chains and a gold real like that. What's up guys? Welcome back to another amazing video. Thank you so much for watching. On this video, I'm going to be talking about Bitcoin and the price predictions that I think are the possible outcomes here in the upcoming future. Keep in mind, all of this is just speculation. This is my prediction and my prediction alone. If you think Bitcoin is going to go to 200k tomorrow, that's fine. I respect it, whatever. If you can back up your information and your prediction, that's fine. But based off of the charting what i have looked at and based off of the past experience that i have seen on pattern wise on bitcoin i think this one is going to go even lower so we are trading at thirty eight thousand seven hundred and eleven dollars i am using trading view of course but a lot of people like to use whole other platforms which is perfectly fine as long as you find your own specific pattern and how to do certain things if it works out if it makes me makes you money great man i'm the type of person that if there are a crap load of lines everywhere to where i can't even see the candlesticks then it gets me frustrated i get headaches and everything i like to keep my chart simple easy to read and plus it's the easiest way for me to make some money now this if you want to copy me that's fine i'll just pause the video whenever i show my settings and things like that uh whenever you find your pattern stick with it man I, it took me years in order for me to find out the right way to start charting when to get in when to get out when to take profit you know things like that this type of trading is also how i find kind of like the binance smart chain gems i guess you would call them I like to look at them and see support resistance, the 1334 MA, which that's what I'm using. It's these two right here. The purple line is the 13 MA, and the pink line is the 34 MA. Both of them are the close. This is the easiest way. So the 13, I'm gonna show an example right here. Whenever the 13 crosses on top, of the 34 it means it's bullish so that's whenever the candlesticks start trading above so you could once it crosses over right here it's not always guaranteed i'm gonna say it's about 80 percent of the time this happens but you know it's still a very high risk either way i stick with it it makes me money i'm willing to risk, to risk a few hundred dollars to make me a good amount of money so let's say we see this crossover i stick with the daily it depends on if if i'm either swing uh swing trading it or if i'm gonna pattern a uh, day trade so let's say i'm gonna swing trade i'm gonna be on the daily so you see this cross over the 13 crosses on top of the 34 that means it's bullish so i would get either a long position or a call position depending if i'm doing crypto or stocks or whatever you know so i would get my position around here it would of course start trading on top once i start seeing the candlesticks below the 13 then i would start taking profit and start being cautious start looking at the charting and things like that so then once the 13 crosses below my 34 that is bearish i hope you guys are taking notes i'm pretty much giving you guys free information about how to chart so it's going to look like this so now the 13 crosses down the 34 crosses over it and now look at this pattern right here it is now bearish and it starts to go under so right here somewhere around this line around here is where i will take all of my money out from this position and I would look to get a put position, a short position, or, or sell my crypto to Tether, BUSD, whichever I decide to do to get in uh, later on at a lower average for more tokens. It just depends what you're doing, pretty much. So this is where it starts being bearish. And it wanted to cross over here, but it was pretty much a fake out. It was like, nope, I'm, I'm not ready to turn bearish, uh, bullish. So we have to wait all the way over here to where it crosses above again, the 13 crosses above and it signals a bullish trend. Now it didn't last long until the cross 
again and it turned bearish so it just re it rinse and repeat pattern that's just pretty much the easiest way i can show you guys uh so i am using trading view this website is going to be down below in the description for you guys to just click it it'll take you to it if you don't have an account then go ahead and do so uh it, it's going to be down below in the description it isn't that hard over here is the search engine you can just put in btc to usd and put the daily so these two is what i have here are the settings uh let's see inputs 13 close and you click okay the style is just this what i have and the visibility is what i have this right here if you want to pause the video and just adjust to whatever you are happy with the inputs on the 34 are these right here offset is zero style and visibility them are all the numbers right there i also have the rsi here on the bottom part so right now the rsi for bitcoin is looking pretty you know pretty good in my opinion if it, it's not oversold overbought nothing it's just staying flat so what we are looking at right now if you guys uh literally just paid attention a few seconds ago i said the crossover okay so it looks like it is getting very very close for bitcoin to do another cross and then guess what there's also this support line right here there are about two channels that i'm going to be keeping an eye on so it could either bounce this and retest the resistance of about 50k give or take or it's just going to completely fail this support and go down even lower uh sadly you know i'm predicting it's going to go to like 29,400. a lot of moon boys are going to be super mad that i said that and here comes all the hate comments which i don't mind i don't care go ahead man it helps the algorithm out put in whatever negative comments you want to put i'll take them all gladly but if you agree with me i want to hear why you think that it is going to go to 29,400. not because of what i showed you but what you believe is your reasoning behind it i would love to hear what you guys have to say now i was scrolling down here before i pushed the record button and I noticed I still had a lot of my information on here from years ago. This is this is literally from me charting a while back ago. See, this is August 3rd of 2020. This is where I started uh, doing a little bit of trending, the ascending uh, pattern, and then it broke out, and then it broke through the resistance on here, and just that's where it pretty much told me, and it confirmed the bullish trend is here, and it gave me that buy signal, and that's where I just held all of my erc20 tokens my bnb and everything this is where it told me to just hold and it's going to be a hell of a ride so going way back here if as, as you guys can see 2018 man this is amazing uh i'm actually going to go further back out and i'm going to shrink this just a little bit because i do have a pattern i want to show you guys that i saw uh so way back here in 2017 it went all the way up here right it spiked big bullish trend all the way to like 17 18 20k whatever it was now look at this pattern right here way up here right it starts off confirmed bullish trend boom all the way to like 60 something upper sixty thousand dollars for bitcoin then over here what happened over here is that we had a drop what we are seeing here is a drop and then we bounced up which is what happened right here around that pattern and now we are dropping back below which i see this right here i hope you guys are seeing the same pattern i am we are pretty much right there that's why i've been saying that in my opinion i do think the bear market is here if not very very close so you see this pop down and then a little bit more up and then just continues to go back down that is exactly what is happening down a little bit more up and then we're going down so i do see like a pattern something like this i, I just randomly drew it you know i'm not gonna say exactly this i just randomly did it but um well i'm gonna cut that actually let's see i'm gonna say i'm just gonna cut that out i'm gonna do it a little bit more what i think is gonna happen so i think it's gonna go like this 
and is going to eventually flatten out around this area and if we lose that support level that i think is going to get is 29,400 if we lose that sadly yes i do see low 20s coming into our zone so that is pretty scary uh, i don't really want to see bitcoin at that but if you think about it bitcoin has to be cheap in order for more people to buy in so that way they can load up their bags even more so i do see that i don't see why not but if we do bounce of course i don't think we're gonna get higher than fifty-one thousand. i really don't i just don't see that happening uh because history does not exactly repeat itself but it really does like to rhyme so if you see this pattern man i do think this right here that is exactly what is happening right there so i hope you guys see that trend line i hope you guys open your eyes i know it's great to see bitcoin at 100 200 300 thousand dollars yes we will get there eventually but bear market and i think we're gonna be in here for a good time i feel like the bigger the the bull run is the longer the bear market tends to be last bear market was about two two three years give or take this time i do predict it's going to be one year added on top of that give or take four years so we expect the next uh, at least i expect the next bull run to be about late 2025 i have mentioned this um por this part right here that late 2025 is what i'm predicting uh to, for bitcoin to be way above 200k so easy it's easier said than done but uh, i'm not really gonna say this guaranteed i mean tomorrow bitcoin can just pop man i don't i don't know it can just go to completely to 80 40 uh 50k whatever and and it's gonna be a great world for everybody right but it, it, it coming to into reality nobody can predict the future uh i'm just going based off of the chart i'm going based off pa uh, past uh charting what had happened and then you see this right here once this pattern right here started going down it started like going for the longest time ever about february 2018 all the way to march 28th that's where it started flattening out and it just started going uh in just one single pattern all the way for like two years so expect that to happen again you know all the way down and like the same thing that i just showed you and then it's just gonna go flatten out a little bit it's gonna go a little bit and way over here is just where it's gonna end up going but you know anything can happen some some events in the world could take big effect into bitcoin like ukraine and so on and so forth uh so we got to keep an eye out on the news also a lot of countries are not accepting bitcoin a lot more adoption has happened since over here which is great people have easier access to bitcoin a lot of people can now buy with their credit cards they can pay it off uh, a lot faster you know things like that so we have to keep that in mind a lot of you know the average joes and the beginners can just create an account and buy a thousand dollars if they want to so imagine millions of people being able to do that so who knows man in the future we may be able to just have even easier access to bitcoin so guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you think let me know if you agree with this pattern my prediction all that fun stuff I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Take care, I'm out. Peace. You don't get paid if you sleep, man. You don't know where I come from. You don't know what I've been through.